guys, how's it going? Edstar here, back with another Sutton United Career Mode video. We're on to episode number 27. Um, we are already in November, and so in today's episode, we are going to be playing the games against MK Dons and the game against Charlton. Um, they are doing well in the table. They are fifth and fourth. So let's see how we get on against them today. Um, in the last episode, it was a bit of a mix. For, it was good results in the league. Um, bit of a disappointing one to lose against Ipswich in the last minute but you know things happen let's see if this team can move on um, we have got our home draw against um, Crawley Town in the FA Cup so that will be a nice Sims game hopefully we should get through to the third round um, so without further ado let's get into this Sims game against Lincoln City and then let's get into some gameplay um, hopefully you guys are enjoying the series so far if you are, please make sure you leave a like on the videos. I am pre-recording this week in advance um, because from Friday onwards I am away um, for the whole weekend and I'm not going to have my laptop with me and I'm not going to be able to do any recording over the weekend. So I am doing all my filming pretty much today and tomorrow and Wednesday. So all these episodes and all these videos are going to come out during then and I'm just going to make sure they're scheduled so you guys don't miss any of my um, vid up any of my uploads so hopefully you do guys respect that and I will have a nice week aw weekend away and um, yeah let's crack on into the episode right first game of today's episode we are taking on Lincoln City I think they're 11th in the table um, Wagner Mendoza is pretty much my first team apart from Stanley Price who is still injured um, Martin up to 66 Mendoza 68 um, Team's growing very nicely. Fury 69, um, Rainer 64. Um, let's see if this team can get a good win against Lincoln City. And it is a 1 0 win. Um, very nice to see. We continue our good run at the top of the table. Um, Diego Fiore gets us the winning goal in the 55th minute. Um, three shots apiece. Pretty even possession. Could have gone either way, but it's gone our way. Let's go. Good big three points that could be. Right, so let's get some gameplay in. We are going to be taking on fifth place MK Dons. Um, let's see if we can get a good result. They're playing a five at the back, so maybe something we can capitalise on potentially. Um, Reynolds have gone up to 65, Sanchez up to 69, Mendoza's up to 69, that's Antonio. Um, yeah, very, very pleased with the growth of this team. Can we get another win against MK Dons? These two next two games, MK Dons and Shelton, are going to be big contributing factors whether we can sustain an automatic promotion challenge because I know in the next episode we have got Reading and we've got Luton Town so them two are definitely going to be played without a shadow of a doubt their most important games of the season so far let's see if we can knock off um, fifth place MK Dons let's go lads right here we go we are at MK Dons it's a rainy day here in um, Buckinghamshire um, yeah let's see if we can pick up a good result here against the MK Dons it's going to be a very difficult game today I can just sense it I mean they've got a really good team they've got ISO in their team and um, so um, ex Peterborough United player so I can tell that their team are rather good so we need to be on our game today um, in the intro there you wouldn't have seen but they are actually the league's best defence and we are the league's best attack so let's see if we can not break down their defence and let's see if we can pick up a huge win against the MK Dons good ball come on Sanchez Wagner oh what a finish from Wagner let's fucking go 7 minutes in what a pass from Diego Sanchez there. Let's fucking go. Wagner with an important goal. What a finish. This kid is sensational. He's absolutely sensational. He's the new Nick Mills. Let's fucking go. What a finish. In off the bar. I mean, it does not get any better than that. Let's go. What an important goal that could be towards the end of our season. Big, big finish there from Nick Wagner. That's his 10th goal of the League One season. He's only two behind Mendoza. Big goal. We've already broken through their defence. The oh, Luton have the lead against Bolton. That's not a good start. Well, we've got the lead here. Oh, let's not concede it straight away, please. Well done, Dylan. Great save. That's it. Let's go, Rayner. What a ball that is. Beautifully disguised ball. Can he get it in the middle? Oh, he nearly does. Nearly gets him through. 
Oi! Oi! That's a horrible foul. That's a terrible foul from the 21. What is he doing? I mean, Daniel Harvey, mate. Have a look at yourself in the mirror, mate. You fucking prick. Look at this. Oh, that's a red card. That is, that is a red card every fucking day of the week, mate. You fucking knobhead. Let's go there. Oh, nearly. Nearly. Just couldn't get it down. I'm going to score a free kick eventually. I will score a free kick. Let's go. We're all over him again. They have no answer, MK Dons. None at all. Look at this again. And again, back in the middle. Come on, Rayner. Yes, Rayner. Come on. MK Dons have absolutely no answers to this sensational passing from Sutton United here. And Rayner celebrates in front of the MK Dons fans. That will piss him off even more. But let's fucking go. Great pass back into the middle from Mendoza. And that is 2-0. 2-0 against MK Dons. I thought this was going to be a very difficult game. We have run the show. They've only had one real chance in 15 minutes. And that was well saved from Dylan James. But great start from the lads. How is that a foul? I don't get that. Get rid of it, please. Well done. Let's go. Lost possession. Oh, look who's in. Look who's in. Here comes Wagner. Here comes Wagner again. Can he make it three? That You bet you he can. We are fucking all over him. Let's go. What a counter-attack there from Sutton. We are devastating League One right now. I... I might even have to look at sliders at this rate because I don't even know how we're winning so comfortably against a really good MK Dons team. But let's go. Great finish there from Wagner. 3-0 to Sutton. I mean, 25 minutes in. And what's the keeper doing there? That is a very poor animation, but we'll take it. So I'll tell you what, half time, MK Dons nil, Sutton three. We are running the show. It's as simple as that. I mean, Nick Wagner has just had an exceptional first half. I mean, Wagner, Roberto, Mendoza, Reyna, they've had all brilliant first halves there. Can we keep it going in the second half? Can we keep this goal scoring form up? Let's fucking go. Oh, uh oh, Martin's off. Martin's off for an early share and a wank. That is not good. That is not good. We are going to be short. I mean, hopefully that don't come back to bite us a little bit. Um, can I make any changes? Um, no, I don't think I can. I think I can make one more. Can I make one more? No, nope, I can't. Oh, fuck. Alright, I'm going to have to go free at the back here. Peters. Oi! No, oh, that's a straight red. Straight red for Ten I Watson. You're off for an early share and a wank as well. I mean, 10 v 10 now. I mean, what? What hot? That is even worse than the first tackle. I mean, in the, earlier in the first half, which led to the free kick. But fucking hell. That's a terrible foul. And another one. Ref! Are you smoking drugs? Lumberto, let's go. 4 0. 4 0 in injury time. That's probably the, been the only highlight from this um, second half, if I'm honest with you. That goal. I mean, not really much else has happened, but we'll take it. We'll take it. It's been a very, very solid performance from Sutton United here, but fuck me. MK Dons. Got to take a long, hard look in the mirror because they were absolutely shocking. But 4 0 to Sutton. Great first game to the episode. Let's see what we can do against Charlton. Full time, MK Dons nil, Sutton four. Both teams end up with 10 men. Uh, Martin got sent off for two yellow cards, and um, someone from MK Dons got sent off for a reckless challenge from behind, which really could have injured Peters. But we'll take it. Great, great result there. 4 0 to Sutton. Fully deserved. MK Dons had an absolutely fuck all in the game, and that's a huge result for us. 13 shots to 5, 58% possession. We had we completed we had about 38 tackles. We probably won about six or seven of them. Oh, we only won four. Oh, that's not really good then. Um, you know, 13 shots to five. Really good overall play. I'm very happy with that performance.
Right, so this is my lineup to take on Acton Stanley. This is only three days after the victory against MK Dons. Um, I've fully rotated the team. I'm saving my best players for Charlton. Um, that's a really big game now, if I'm honest with you. They're five points behind us in fourth as it stands at the moment. And five points clear of Reading as well, who are in third. Two points ahead of Luton Town, and we are ahead on 47 points. So we are doing really, really well. Can this team continue that good run of form? I'm not expecting much, but we'll have to see what happens. Let's go. Oh, I thought so. Um, we do lose 2-1, unfortunately. Diego Fiore does get us a goal, but Butcher has won Luton for them in the 61st minute. That's not really the result I wanted to see. Um, but I rested players so I could have a real go at Charlton Athletic, because real life I don't like Charlton um, so yeah let's see what we can do against Charlton right so this is my lineup to take on Charlton Athletic this is going to be the second and final played game in today's episode um, Charlton are currently in fourth they lost their last game as well as us um, I was I was wrong in that little bit intro there um, Reading are actually in second and Luton were third so Reading have gone above us in the top of the table they lead by one point and Luton and the town are now two points behind us so it's vital we win this game I mean Charlton Athletic for League One level they are pretty good um, so this is going to be a real test for us um, I've just realised also they've got Pap Suare, Pap, is that Papa Suare they've got in their team what a great little player he was for us I mean for Palace I mean such a shame what happened with him and you know that car incident and I'll always remember what he done for us but yeah it's going to be a bit of a real test this game can we knock off fourth place Charlton let's go boys right here we go we are at um, the valley um, home of Charlton Athletic Humberto Mendoza with that goal has extended his goal tally to 13 he is the league's top scorer can he continue that good form with Wagner by his side anything can happen with them two in the team um, I've rested my first team for this game um, the only changes I've made are at right midfielder I've gone with Schreiber and see what he can do in this game um, and I've also decided to go with Peters as well on the left hand side I think I think I went with Peters yeah um, so as you can see Wank Mendoza with 13 um, yeah Mendoza with 13 Wagner with 11 so can these two add to their exciting contribution they've contributed nearly half of our goals so feed them all feed the ball to them and they will score that's my motto let's hope it works for us today Let's go. Come on, Schreiber. Come on, Schreiber. What you got, mate? Can I sit in the box? Oh, nearly. Oh! Let's go! Wagner with the, with the header. Fuck up from the defenders there from Chelton. But Wagner gets us a goal. He's only one behind Mendoza. And we've already broken through this Chelton athletic defence. Six minutes in. Let's fucking go. What a huge moment that could be for this club who are trying to desperately get into championship football next season what a head that's a brilliant header there from um, Wagner there but let's go great finish 1-0 to Sutton that's Wagner's 12th goal of the season in 18 games he's been on fire this season that's a good header from Miranda there and another one Oh, fucking hell. How have they scored that? Are you serious? Kirk with the goal. Are you serious? How have they scored that? How has he not tackled him there? Fucking hell. They get one chance and they take it. I mean, they've had nothing in this game, Charlton. They've created absolute fuck all. I don't mean nothing in this fucking game. Top bin's finished. Of course it's a top bin's finished. I mean, how else is it going to be in fucking FIFA 22? I mean... Fuck this game, man. I mean, what the fuck is that? Let's fucking go. Schreiber. Can he get something off? Can he get it to Peters? Yes, he can. Yes, Peters. Let's go. Oh, it's off the post. Good save from the keeper, but it's off the post. Schreiber. Yes, Schreiber. Come on. The young German who's starting today gets us the 2-1 lead. Let's go. Big finish there from the young kid who has been really a substitute impact for me this season but he's come on and he's got a goal a big goal for us this season it's a good save from the keeper from Peter's shot but 
they just can't get to Schreiber in time and he gets his shot away and it's such a good little finish really the keeper should be doing better but it's in the net and I don't care and we lead 2-1 against Charlton that's the minimum we deserve so far half time Charlton 1 Sutton 2 we've been the much better team I mean their goal came from absolutely nothing I mean it was a good finish from Charlie Kirk um, for Charlton but Schreiber gets us the goal which is very nice to see he's been a good a good player for us so far in this game Wagner gets us the other goal um, but we lead 2-1 at half time can we keep that form up in the second half Rayner! Oh, great save from McGillivray in the goal. He's been really good for them, to be fair, today. I mean, he's made a couple of cracking saves. This is a really good save. I mean, from Rayner. Oh, it hits his face and all. Oh, that was going to happen in the morning. It's a good ball to Humberto. Great ball to Humberto. Let's go. Oh, come on. That would have been a great goal. Still got it. Engstrom. To Wagner. Come on, Wagner. Oh, saved again. Great couple of must saves from McGillivray there to keep Charlton in the game. If that goes in, that's a different ball game. But they're on the counter attack here now, Charlton. Let's stop them. Come on. Come on, please. No, 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 no. Come on. What are we doing? Fuck's sake, force for Kasky, mate. Two chances they've had in the game. Two chances and we cannot put the game to bed. We've got to take our chances. I mean, fucking hell, how have we not won the ball there? Why is Martin not closing him down quicker there? I mean, what is he doing? Fucking hell. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Peters. 80th minute. What have you got left in the tank, mate? No! That's a penalty! That's a penalty! Let's fucking go! Horrible tackle there from Semenov on Peters. He's going to come off, though, because he's knackered. He's worked a shift today, Peters has. He's been absolutely top class. Wins us the penalty. And we're going to go to the penalty spot. Here comes Tarasuk. What can he do? Big moment. 82nd minute. Can he get us the win? Green timed, absolutely top class penalty. Let's fucking go. Tarasuk comes off the bench to get us a very, very important goal. And that could be our biggest goal this season if things go the way they are going right now. Tarasuk with an important goal from the penalty spot. Um, Peters won the penalty. And let's go. Big moment. Can we hold on? Can we actually hold on this time for a very important win? Let's go. Tarasuk's. Fifth goal? Yeah, fifth goal in 14 games in the league. Ah, oh, so close! No, don't let them get the last attack. Come on, boys. Keep him out. Keep him out. Keep her! Keep her! Fucking... What are you doing? Are you serious? Are you actually serious? Dylan! You come out when I tell you to come out. I am spamming Why? To come out and kick the ball. What are we doing? At this point, I was spamming Y for him to come out and collect the ball. Are you serious? Nah, this game could go fuck itself, fam. Are you joking? Right, come on. Charlton 3, Sutton 3. They don't even deserve a fucking point. We cannot take our chances. This is the biggest problem I have at this club. What is going on? I mean... Oh, come on. 15 shots to 6, and they score 3 goals. Get in the bin, mate. Get in the fucking bin. Right, this is the Youth Squad Monthly Report for December. Um, Viral mccarnu has gone up 2 now to 58. Um, 85 to 91. I'm going to keep him in the academy for as long as I can, because he looks real quality. I mean, he could definitely you know, play a part in this team, and decent keeper to have in the academy if we need him. Harrison Woolley, 61 rated, 15 years of age, 88 to 94 potential. If he, When he turns 16 and if he doesn't want to be called up until the end of next season, I really want to keep him until the end of the season if possible because he is an absolute star. He's going to be the next 
you know, big talent at left back for us. He could be the starting left back if we sold Sigmund on. And Wooly, I would have no problem with because he looks brilliant. Look at this 81 jumping, 88 aggression, good acceleration, good sprint speed, good stamina. So, he really is improving, and I really like the look of him. 30 tag mail, we 87 to 93, 61 rated. If I brought him in now, I would probably have to loan him out. He looks quality, though. He does look real quality. I mean, him and, you know, Harrison Woolley look very good. In fact, I'm actually going to do it. I'm going to call up Fatty Tag Maui and I'm going to loan him out for the rest of this season. See what he comes to next season. He looks such a talent. Samuel Paul is ready to be transferred to a centre to midfielder. 73 to 87. Might be able to help us out, but let's see what rating he goes to for now. Look at that. Look at that. 66 rated as a centre midfielder. If we can get his sprint speed and his shooting up, this is a no-brainer for me. I mean, he's got to be called up. I mean, 73 to 87 is not the best potential, but he could so much do a job right now whilst um, Stanley Price is injured. He would really, really help us out. In fact, I'm actually going to do it. Samuel Paul, welcome to the first team. Right, so unfortunately there was nothing from Australia or Cameroon, but there is one lad I have found from Slovakia. Um, 45 to 61, 72 to 94, Dan Barter, 6 foot 1. I'm hoping he is a striker because I think that would really help us out right now, if I'm honest with you. Um, yeah, looks quite good. 600k worth of value. Let's see what he comes to. Right, so Dan Barter comes back as a 56 rated centre forward and he doesn't strike me as a centre forward if I'm honest with you. 49 shooting is not the best if I'm honest with you. Um, so I'm definitely not going to be playing him at striker which is slightly sad because, you know, 6 foot 1 would have really helped us out at the back. But, well not at the back, um, up front. But, um, yeah, so I'll put him to a right midfielder, see what that does for his um, rating. but. I think that's a really good pick up if I'm honest with you. Right, and that is where I'm going to end episode 27 of the Sutton United career mode. Um, we end today's episode in second place, just behind Reading. Very infuriating draw against Charlton Athletic. We should have won the game. It's as simple as that. And the fucking goalkeeper animations are seriously starting to fuck with my head. I mean, how on earth can you just. I press Y so. I press Y, like, straight away for him to come and collect the ball. And he's just fucking standing there. What is up with the goalkeeper animations in this game? I mean, it's just fucking retarded. It's messing with my head. I mean, I've really got to get my head together because in the next episode, we have got a big game against top of the table, Reading. And they are the team to beat this year. For me personally, they are the team to beat in League One this season. I mean, Luton Town as well in the next episode. We've got them up to them two up next. And that is big for our... If we want to, you know, get an automatic promotion spot, these are the two games we really need to do well in. I mean, we've also got Lincoln again, which will be another Sims game. We've also drawn Bolton Wanderers in the round two of the FA Cup. I'll probably play that one as well, um, you know, just to see how far we can go. Um, we have got Ipswich Town in eighth, but I'll probably give that a Sim because... I'm not really bothered by that. Um, I only really want to play the top six, realistically. Um, then we've got Rotherham United in 12th, you know. And then if we do get um, the third round of the um, FA Cup, um, I will think about playing that as well if we do get past Bolton Wanderers. So, yeah, it is going to be a big episode next episode. I mean, in particular, Reading and Luton Town are the big two games for me in the next episode. I am filming this ahead of time. I am pre-recording all of this week. As I said before in the intro, um, I'm away from Wednesday through to Monday. So there will be no content on those days. So I'm trying to get all these content out for you so that there is, I don't miss a single upload. I'm really, really up against it this week, if I'm honest with you. So I'm trying to get all this content done for you. I'm trying to get all of this filming done for you. If you really appreciate all the grinding out I'm doing for you, make sure you hit the like button. Hopefully you are enjoying the series. Yeah, hit the subscribe button. It would really help the channel grow right now. And still over 70% of you are guys are not subscribed to the channel. It would really, really make my, the rest of my year if you guys could hit the subscribe button. And um, yeah, until next time, um, continue to stay well, stay safe. And I will see you for another episode very, very soon.